Yo, yo, what is up, guys? Welcome to Trippy Commentaries. Thanks for joining up for the episode. We all know that a massive DLC will hit GTA 5 sometime this summer. Rockstar has all but confirmed it by tweeting out a picture that shows Summer 2018, Los Santos, and the official artist that'll be part of the new DLC soundtrack. Also, considering the game does take place in Los Santos, which is Los Angeles, probably the party capital in the entire world, it just makes sense for them to bring back Nightclub, something that's been part of the original San Andreas and even the final DLC of GTA 4. So with all the leaks and Rockstar's tweet themselves, we know that Nightclubs will soon be coming, most likely needing a ton of money in GTA Online. That said, there's some things we really want for the DLC and there's a huge issue when it comes to this mystery. Rockstar did tweet out a picture, not really telling us about the DLC, but leading us on, but we have not heard anything since that tweet guys it's been radio silence many people believe that this dlc has been delayed which is pretty rough considering they have told us that it's summer 2018 while we are in the middle of the summer patiently awaiting a new dlc if you guys are fans of fortnite then you know that that system is what keeps fortnite so strong they have new challenges new things to unlock all the time and really rockstar has been doing a good job of that they had all these dlcs whether it be the doomsday dlc the bunkers the facilities they kept adding new content to keep us excited well we have not gotten any new content in a while so this nightclub dlc is exactly what gta online needs in fact i think it would take a lot of the players from fortnite bringing them back into a game that has so much to unlock, so many different cool vehicles, possible new vehicles that we've never seen before, or at least not in this generation, I think the hype would be real. So I'm going to show you guys the three vehicles that I want added in with the Nightclub DLC, and I promise you that one I don't think you've ever thought of before. It would be pretty interesting if they really added it into GTA Online. Thanks again for joining up. We'll have a new episode every day this week. I'll have a link in the description to yesterday's video looking at some Easter eggs that are extremely well hidden despite the fact that they are hidden in plain sight. Let's get into the episode, guys. I'm going to update you on the Nightclub DLC and look at the vehicles that Rockstar needs to add into Grand Theft Auto Online. <laughs> You can see how the Rockstar Twitter is all about Red Dead Redemption 2. Rightfully so, but you would think that if they had a big summer DLC in the works, they would definitely be advertising it more, letting people know to get ready, especially because they already put out the first tweet. But I talked about how Fortnite has done such a great job with the weekly challenges and updates, but I think that Rockstar and GTA Online is really what started that. They would add new vehicles, of course new races, and they had plenty of DLCs. But at this point, with GTA Online being pretty old, they do need to add the DLC, the one that they teased, the nightclub DLC, which would bring the game back to its roots. So as far as the update is concerned, it's almost sad to say that there is no update. There has been Code Blue Radio Silence. They put out the initial teaser, the mystery tweet that we figured out, and ever since that one tweet, they really have not given us anything. So you can scroll all the way down. They're retweeting people's pictures of the newest cars, and then here you go. This is the picture. We know that these are the artists. Again, I'll have a link in the description to the last video that pretty much showed exactly what's going on here. I did tell you guys that I'll keep you updated. So as far as the nightclub DLC that is definitely coming to Grand Theft Auto V, and you would think it would have to come before Red Dead Redemption 2, they have not said anything about it. Look for them to release an official trailer to kind of catch everybody off guard. But as of right now, watch out for updates because most of the time the data miners will have a head start. They'll probably know when something is about to happen. At this point, there are so many vehicles in GTA Online. They need to add something big to actually get the community excited. We don't want any more sports cars. I mean, that stuff is all great. Don't get me wrong. But they need to bring back some true fan favorites and something that we have not seen in the series before. So I'm going to give you guys three vehicles that I'm pretty much calling my shot need to be added into GTA Online. And like I said earlier, one of them is probably something that you've never thought of before. The skies seem a little bit empty to me, my friends. Let's look at the three vehicles that I want in GTA Online. The first vehicle is serious. People would go crazy if they heard that Rockstar was adding this into the game. Do you know what this is? That is the Vortex. It's a hovercraft. 
Can you believe that there's a hovercraft in GTA San Andreas and we have not gotten it in Grand Theft Auto 5 yet? It really doesn't make any sense, but I'm guessing that if and when they add the Vortex back in the game, it'll be some sort of military version. It'll have cannons, maybe some rockets just like we see on the DeLorean. Let's face it, just having the Vortex at this point, we would probably just be bait for griefers. But I think if they make it with missiles and possibly turrets, maybe more than one person can drive it, or possibly different versions of the Vortex, having bigger versions and smaller versions, people would get crazy excited. This needs to happen, guys. Let me know what you think, and if any of you have never seen this before, definitely let me know if you'd be down to try out a hovercraft in Grand Theft Auto V. Now, some of you guys may hate me for this, but I think that they need to bring the RC vehicles back. They were in San Andreas, they were in Vice City, but we have not seen them in both Grand Theft Auto 4 or Grand Theft Auto 5. Once again, I'm looking for things that they can add that would get the community completely hyped. Can you imagine having RC wars, guys? RC cars, all that stuff. I think if you put it in an online setting, it would be extremely fun and we'd probably all be down to do it in just like all the cars, Imagine if you just have your basic RC helicopter, or if you have a gold-plated, blinged-out RC helicopter, possibly with diamonds, all that stuff. Of course, you can have that, the tanks. All you have to do is take the cars and the tanks, all that stuff that we already have, and make a miniature version that we can upgrade and have possibly a battlefield just like this from the Final Zero mission in San Andreas and have this as some sort of online mode or just a new style of playing GTA Online. Again, I know it might sound crazy because these are some of the most frustrating and annoying missions in the entire game, but bringing it back for something we can do in GTA Online, I think it would get a lot of attention back to online, and let's face it, people can step away from the uber shooters like Fortnite and have some fun dropping bombs on each other with RC helicopters. Let me know what you guys think, but that is the second vehicles, I guess in this case multiple, but representing the RC vehicles, which have been a big part of GTA past. Why not bring them back for Grand Theft Auto V? We're going into Red Dead Redemption 2. You know, we're not going to have any RC vehicles in that game. Why not give us something that we've already seen before in past Grand Theft Auto games? This would not be that far-fetched. Let's see it come back. balloons start to take shape to lift up and fill the sky you heard that right there are hot air balloon festivals in california around los angeles so it is a pretty common sight to see a hot air balloon around la and that is something that i've never heard before i think it'd be an epic vehicle to add into the game hot air balloons now just like i talked about with the vortex in this case we might have to outfit them with some sort of weaponry i don't know if it'll be turrets rockets or maybe just have them for the joyride, but considering all the parachuting we can do, there's so much to do in the skies. I do want to hear some ideas from you guys, but take it from me as somebody who's been to a hot air balloon festival, it is quite the sight to behold. So if you have a whole 30 person lobby, everybody with hot air balloons, imagine the spectacle guys, that would be mind blowing to see in GTA Online. And you know, they got to come up with some new stuff. They can't just be regurgitating old GTA San Andreas stuff or just newer cars. We want something that we've never seen in a Grand Theft Auto game before, and I think that a hot air balloon, something that you see all around California, it would be easy and perfect for Rockstar to add into the game, and that is the number one vehicle that I want added into GTA Online. There's two more that I'm thinking about for the final update, but honestly, something new, and you can see we'd have pirate-type balloons, all types of different things we could represent on our massive hot air balloons, guys. I'm so down for that. I did want to mention two bonus vehicles, or in this case, a skateboard. I don't know if that counts as a bonus vehicle, but the game has plenty of skate parks. Do you think that it would be possible to add a skateboard into Grand Theft Auto V? Again, looking ahead, we have Red Dead Redemption 2 coming up next. We know there's not going to be a skateboard in that game, but it just seems to be a perfect fit into GTA 5 and of course Grand Theft Auto Online. We have everything we need if they could make some sort of basic skating engine with grinding and possibly some ollies, some kickflips and all that sort of thing. Let's do it man. Put the skateboards in the game. We have the bikes. I think they could easily add that. Give us something to do while we actually hang out at the skate parks around GTA 5. Finally, is it too late for them to add the original jetpack? I know I'm not the only one who requests this. 
but the thruster is pretty lackluster, guys. A lot of times, if you're flying around trying to get in a fight with other people in GTA Online, they can easily shoot you out of the sky, so not only do you die, but your thruster falls down, hits the ground, blows up, and you have to pay the insurance. So, I would like to have the original thruster, or in this case, the jetpack. We don't need the missile launcher. We could have our normal guns, and the ability to kind of run on the ground while the jetpack is going, I think that would be highly popular, especially when compared to the thruster. Fort Zancudo has an underground bunker ready to unlock. It would be held in the same exact place as it was here in San Andreas. In Area 69 underground, we can steal the Black Project, or I'm sure Rockstar would give us the chance to buy it. Buy your shark cards or steal it. It works out for everybody. But I want the original jetpack, and I know many of you guys agree with that. There you have it. Those are the vehicles that I think need to be added into the game. Hopefully they're picks that you guys have not heard before. But like I said, there's going to be an update coming very soon. Make sure to stay tuned. I'll let you guys know as soon as we hear something. It might be a trailer that Rockstar releases out of nowhere. It could be the data miners figuring out that there's something going on inside the game code. But we just passed E3. That would have been the perfect opportunity for Rockstar to release the trailer for the world to see. Getting everybody hyped and possibly jumping back into GTA Online. So the fact that we did not hear anything lets me know that this has probably been delayed. Hopefully not for too long. I'm sure Rockstar will let us know exactly when this is going to come out so we can start saving up some money. It's probably going to be the most expensive DLC yet. If you want to buy your own nightclub, how much is that going to cost? Hopefully the Trippy fam can go on it together. We will create Club Trippy, my friends. So much love, guys. Stay tuned here at the channel. Like I said, I'll keep you updated. Hit the notification button. I'll probably go live as soon as something comes out on an official release date or possibly a trailer that we can react to together. I'll catch you guys soon. Hit me up on Twitter at TrippyComs. We have a live stream coming up. Stay tuned here. Trippy commentaries, my friends. But more importantly, as always, make sure to stay trippy.